and describe to people where, what we did. This is, this is the, Switzerland. <laughs> this is Switzerland in 3D, in near Interlaken. We were living here. After the yeah. river. Yesterday we went here, harder cold, with this one yeah. line, which is the harder barn. Then we hiked back by walking, and today we went all the way from this village through Wildersville by hiking. Which we are now here, yeah? Yeah, this is the this Wildersville. This is the space here. We are in the station. Yeah? Yeah, and we saved 1.5 euros <laughs> from here to here. Totally not worth it. <laughs> then we'll take a train from uh -huh. here all the way to Lauterbrunnen. Yeah, where we will we stay? Here, yeah. Actually, we are staying in Wengen. So yeah, we'll we go here and we'll hike from, from here, here to here to Wengen. One hour, three kilometers, but climbing 500 meters. We we'll hike, hike short, short distance, displacement. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the summary for these two days. So after reaching in Lauterbrunnen directly, this is out of the station. The view is totally different than Interlaken, it's totally different. Situated between gigantic rock faces and mountain peaks, Lauterbrunnen Valley is one of the biggest natural conservation areas in Switzerland. This is the train station, we came from here. You can see the homes, how they look. In Lauterbrunnen alone, there is around 72 thundering waterfalls. You can see there, this is a waterfall. And then behind this one, there is this bigger waterfall. Another waterfall. So these are just two from them. The highest free falling waterfall in Switzerland is Staubach Waterfall. Walking, uh, walking to the waterfall. It's called the Staubach Waterfall, which is the highest waterfall here in Lauterbrunn. Getting closer to the waterfall, it gets better. Now starting with the other hike after finishing the waterfall <laughs> We are going all the way up Hiking Sitting here outside the hotel itself, not inside Is enough For the guys In this view <laughs> Like this view is enough Look at this River Cows Amazing buildings Waterfalls The snow and the mountains Everything, everything is here Where are we going again? Wengen. One hour and a half. Stunde, 30 minutes. Minutes. Genau. Genau. One hour and a half. Let's do it. Yeah, Vipan. Oh my god, look at the smell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See more colors of the flowers and more uh, more animals up. More cows. <laughs> and again the train with this waterfall. Can't imagine the view from here. How we are sitting now after the little bit of hike. 
This view is amazing. Here around us, there is this also waterfall there. Then there is these four here, like this one, the biggest one which were there already. Then this is the second, the third, and there is actually this one there so far. Wingen lies around 400 meters above the Lauterbrunnen Valley at an altitude of around 1,300 meters. After the long hike for two hours, here we just reached. There are goats here, like this is a home, this is its garden. Like the waterfall that we were at, it's this one. See how small it is now? We did a great job, guys. We really did a great job. Nice, nice. Is it a dream? Congrats. <laughs> this small village opens widely toward the southwest. That's why it enjoys above average hours of sunshine compared to other places in the Brunin Valley. This is the train station, so instead of taking the hike, the station is up. You can see it. So this is a room from the apartment we'll stay today. This is the view from the window of the room. But this is not the best part of this apartment. Over here you can see the apartment from outside, a small kitchen, and there is a TV, there's a jukebox. Now we can play it. This is so aesthetic. And the last thing is the amazing balcony as always. Here is the balcony and also a nice view. The balcony is big as you can see. The mountain village of Wingen is car free and it has been like that since 1893. Again from Wingen you will have fantastic views of Ayer, Munch and Jungfrau mountain peaks. The Jungfrau region offers over 500 kilometers of marked walking paths and 50 mountain cable cars that provide perfect vantage points. This is the view right now from the train. <laughs> we took the train for ourselves. There is Mohaira. And we are taking some shots from inside the train. Now we are taking just a walk until the lake uh, of uh, Brienz or walking by the riverside. This color of the water is just amazing. You could take a memorable walk or bike ride back along the southern shore of Lake Brienz in a few hours. You could also take some boat trips. So yesterday we were staying on the other side. Our home was up there. And this is now the other side here. Where you can see some farms, some playing football fields. Look at this new spot. We were swimming. And here we are taking some shots inside, almost inside the water. To this view. This will be our last stop 
before going back. We are leaving in 10 minutes to the train station and that was all with our trip to Switzerland. Yes, don't forget Ciao. to subscribe and hit the like ah. button. Go on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all the thing. It's gonna be on the link description below. Thank you. Okay. If you like the video, don't forget to put a like and subscribe Facebook, if you haven't already. YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, <laughs> TikTok, everything. I'll see you guys in the next video.